It was the start of my new job as a government official in the beautiful city of Shimla. I was excited to explore the hills and forests of this renowned tourist destination. As per my job requirements, I had to stay at a government guest house for a few days until I found a permanent residence. Little did I know that this short stay would turn into a nightmare. I arrived at the guest house in the evening welcomed by cool mountain breeze and a spectacular view of the Himalayas. The guest house was a quaint building, surrounded by lush green trees and a well-manicured garden. A middle-aged woman greeted me at the gate, introducing herself as Mrs. Kaur, the caretaker of the guest house. She had a creepy smile on her face, but I shrugged it off as just an odd personality trait. Mrs. Kaur showed me to my room, which was cozy and comfortable. She also mentioned that she would be providing meals during my stay. I was relieved as I wouldn't have to worry about finding food in a new city. As I settled in, I noticed a young girl, around seven years old, peeking at me from behind her mother. Mrs. Kaur introduced her as her daughter, Ria. The first few days at the guest house were uneventful. I spent my days working and exploring the city, while Mrs. Carr took care of my meals and Rhea entertained me with her innocent antics. However, as the days passed, I started noticing strange things happening in the guest house. At night, I would hear footsteps outside my room, but when I opened the door, there was no one. Sometimes I would find objects misplaced and the door to the attic, which was always locked, would be slightly open. I brushed it off as my imagination until one night, I woke up to find Mrs. Kaur standing at the foot of my bed. She had a sinister look on her face, and her eyes seemed to glow in the moonlight. I was paralyzed with fear, and before I could react, she disappeared into thin air. I tried to convince myself that it was just a dream, but the next morning I found scratches on my bedroom door. As days went by, Rhea's behavior also changed. She became distant and rarely spoke. Whenever I asked her about her mother, she would just give me a blank stare and run away. I started feeling uneasy in the guest house and decided to leave as soon as I found a place to stay. One evening, I returned to the guest house to find Mrs. Cor sobbing in the living room. She told me that Rhea had gone missing. I offered to help her search, but she refused, saying that it was the curse of the guest house. I was taken aback by her statement and asked her to explain. She told me that years ago, the guest house was owned by a wealthy family who had a daughter named Rhea. She was a sweet and innocent child, loved by everyone. However, one day she went missing, and her body was never found. The family had to sell the guest house due to financial problems, and since then, the ghost of Rhea has been haunting the place. I was skeptical about her story, but as I looked into Mrs. Kaur's eyes, I could see the fear and guilt. I decided to leave the guest house the next day and moved into a new place. But the horrors of the guest house didn't end there. I started having nightmares of a little girl calling out for her mother and a woman in a tattered dress chasing me. I also found strange marks on my body, as if someone had scratched me in my sleep. I couldn't take it anymore and decided to visit a local priest. He advised me to perform a ritual to cleanse the guest house. I convinced Mrs. Kaur to join me and together we performed the ritual. As we chanted the prayers, the atmosphere in the guest house changed. The temperature dropped and I could feel a presence in the room. Suddenly, Rhea's ghost appeared in front of us. She was crying and asking for her mother. Mrs. Kaur broke down and she finally confessed to killing Rhea out of jealousy for the love and attention she received from her parents. As the truth was revealed, Rhea's ghost disappeared and the guest house was cleansed. Mrs. Cor and I never spoke about that night again, and she left the guest house soon after I never returned to that place, but the memories of those haunting days still send shivers down my spine. <laughs>